Buenos dias, mi gente. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another walkthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. It's your boy Mugen, man, coming to you with another great one. You already know, man. It's, ple yeah. it's a pleasure to, uh, to have you join me, man. I'm gonna just go with it. It's all right. Every once in a while, I'll just keep doing a retake here and there. But you know what? We're just gonna keep it going. Just getting in the flow of things, you know, man. After this little Christmas break, we trying to get back in the flow of all things and stuff, you know. So we just gonna keep it going, and I'm just talking because I'm a little faded. So let's get it, y'all. So I'm gonna uh, check my emails. Kind of rent due at the burger show. We have not received this month's rent payment for your unit in Mega Building H10 in accordance with the tenancy agreement. Uh huh. Right, right, right. Whatever, whatever. I actually gotta level up my character, man. Just a little nervous to get back in the game, bro. Like, I don't even know what I'm saying. Producing. Loadout time. Let's go with that. Go with cool this time. I don't even know. I don't even know what I really want to spend my shit on. To be quite honest. Put some clothes on. Good thing. I, yo, good thing I freaking put on my, uh, my sensor on. I was playing the game. Yo, I got these freaking gold tip legendaries, bro, off of just doing those freaking side missions. Just, I was just trying to level up and actually get double jump on the side. So that was actually like the best way to do that real quick. I was just trying to see if I could get that stuff on the side. I got this mask too. I got a couple things from doing those things on the side, man. Look at that. I got this jacket too over here. Look at this shit. I got the armadillos from doing the side missions, bro. That, I actually wish I recorded that. Probably save that for now. Could have done that, but I'll just show y'all where you could get it. I don't be wearing those boots because they should fucking make my shit look goofy, bro. But, you know what? Whatever. Tajemura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Mm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. I haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Ah, shit! I think I'm gonna eat something. I think that would be like the best thing to do right now. Some wontons. Oh. 
Watson residents are urged to stay clear of storm drains and sewer entrances to minimize risk. Hello, I'm... What's that at? Tears. We must look to the future. To the future Lucius envisioned for our fair city. I promise to do everything in my power to ensure his work will continue on. Rest in peace, my friend. Ryan's political opponent, former district attorney Jefferson Perales, also offered his condolences. What the hell? Beep, beep, motherfucker! Johnny, did you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. Don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident. What the fuck? Was that supposed to happen? He invites you to his main hack in order to access damages and rearrange. Be <laughs> my favorite merc, I got like. I'm selling hasn't been driven much guy who owned for the rest What the fuck dude So that was supposed to happen, huh? Yeah, that's the fucking most weirdest shit I've ever seen in my life I can't tell if the game that was a glitch or that was meant to happen, bro. Like, I I can't tell if the fucking game knows about the amount of bullshit there is, and they just like made it into a quest. It was like, fuck it, dude. Like.
You looking for some company tonight? Well, you found it, baby. An alley or... Did we go somewhere or... Is this a dark alley type of party? I ain't no scuzz ass slut. I got my own place. Good to know. Well, well, who do I spy but V in my humble parlor, no less? Wukako, long time no see. So what brings you here? I can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. You're not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Tell me about Westbrook. Nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husbands knew Westbrook. Yes, each of them, very high in the tiger class, ruled Japan Town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pull, sold sex, and black market tech. We have some outstanding biz to sell. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Personally, you can pick it up from. I'm about to call my down. We are going shit. Hey, hey, listen. As St. Louis, I mean St. Louis, St. Augustine of Hippo taught us to err is to be human, but to err willingly is to perform work of Satan. Pope Fitterland and I and his successors are guilty of his heinous sin for their provisions of Christ's teachings and their worship of golden calves of technology and mammon. They have not only chosen this path to paradation for themselves but have attempted to tempt the lord's flock to follow but for the millions of internal souls who he loves so dearly cardinal conrad long whiskey made the only decision god would allow seeing the vatican had renounced our lord and savior he rescinded his nomination to head the holy what do warsaw catholics believe warsaw worship the one true god and recognized family as defined by the nature laws of nature our lords has provided in accordance with the traditionals hollowed 
He said, I believe in God. What do you mean? It means we acknowledge the truth that there is only one true God who wisdom is infinite and unchanging, who commands our obedience, who compels us to raise families founded in love, whom his only son, Jesus Christ, why believe in the word of God? Oh, that guy. Oh, that's How'd a lot. His chops? Is my untrained ear? Sounds all right, I guess. I mean, it's easy listening at least. No, why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know? <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. It's all those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. Ooh, mean to say I could get my hands on some old samurai bootlegs? Well, I'm gonna find those tapes. I'm gonna shriek like a little fangirl anytime you open your mouth. Happy? Just you fucking try. Jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadence is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. I mean, I'll give the game that, right? Cold Red, Target, Lieutenant Maurer. Symptoms of cyber psychosis or saw a telephone consultation where physician negative treatment possible targets located at the warning targets armed with military grade combat hires. Oh, interesting. She's scary. Uh -huh. <laughs> she fucking scary as fuck. Cold red, cold red. Copy reading the bio, describe your symptoms. Convulsions, cramps, can't shut off my implants, aggression. 
I'm at a loss of control soon. Oh my god, please no. Don't call M Tech. I just need some downers off. Of course, don't worry. It takes care of its own. Head to this address. It's out of the way. Please, you won't be able to hurt anyone there. Parents, come get you. Take you to a clinic. You'll be back to normal in a couple of days. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. You look out for the corp. The corp looks out for you. They were just going to kill her straight up. They told her to come here. And then these fools came to stack. She's, she's already done for. Stress ball. He had a stress ball, bro. Best thing to do is just fucking kill her ass. What the fuck is my car actually now? I think about it. said it wasn't gonna be that easy all you gotta do is just upgrade your fucking attributes bro
from doing these I th not these necessarily but similar missions to these Let's see what this free reward is uh, business boom? Treating you Cassius. lately can't complain max tech rated a black clinic not long past since then, custom accounts gone up, and so my prices. Coincidence? <laughs> you decide. It's that free reward I got. system as one thing I do want to look into I want to get like the best one though I was about to get that motorcycle but need over with Takamura There's like a little incident right here nearby. Stop by here, check it out. CPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported at corner of Drake and Cartwright. Tiger Claw gang members suspected of armed robbery and extortion are at the scene. This is Mokomichi Yamada, aka Motorboy. Cities put up a reward for the removal of Yamada and his accomplices from the area.
then just from doing that man killing everyone doing these little right here Making sure you do this. Like getting these, and usually after getting one of these, Genki already. And then this cool thing about these is sometimes you read one of these, and then it'll like lead up to something else. Already waiting on the signal. Good. You have the green light. The plan is simple: secure the area around the antenna, then attach the package. Ichika gave you. Listen now for cops. Got it. What's the situation at the scene? Need to be ready for a firefight. No area is clean, but if anyone pokes around her head, you put a bullet through it. No questions understood. Leave it now. We'll let you know now about the antenna. And sometimes reading that like will lead up to something else. So that's cool. I uh, pretty much just park on the sidewalk, bro. Hey, no parking, bro. Like, it would be nice to see parking. so bad then in the car I doubted you would survive this is about the biochip that why I'm here mm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair any attempt to extract it would be disastrous fatal for you Vic likes to talk I guess not many could do what he did you should be thankful Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You're thinking I ought to have a word with her myself? She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? I don't know. No Got idea. No clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. 
Don't have any time to lose, so... Be wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are ah, its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist, thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more pawn. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Over the last decade, the number of incidents has increased as much as 43%. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking soccer scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan. Organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found, things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, 
I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No, she saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she would not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree. I'm the sure. Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Oh my god, this guy. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka oh, still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know, Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogel danced any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Motherfucker well, been eating the same burger and he got pizza and some. Some meatballs, I don't know what the fuck that shit is, some kebabs. Could be sweets, I don't even know what it could be at this point. everybody 
heard there's a new soul in Haywood. I'm Sebastian Ibarra. They call me Padre. V. Hey, nice to meet you. I like people who understand the value of respect. We'll be in touch, V. It's like when they designed this game, they were expecting you to take everything all in, like nice and slow. Drive nice and slow, don't drive too fast. What lawyer's gonna go data crash on your ass? You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirk Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, hey, Dell. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of hey, service? Hey, he was asked in nine. Well, now I'm at the front. Well, now I'm in front. That a problem? Uh, no, no, it's fine. Hello, sir or madam. What's How got into you, Dell? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give them any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Corpse, dude. Please, sir, madam. Recite the uh, seventy-seven double eleven zero one zero ninety-six. Incident report on file. Confirmed. Ninety-six at the end. It's a public enemy, government target. Your identity has been established, Mr. Hans Jonas. What phrase would best describe your experience of incident number seven seven one 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 zero one zero nine six? Actually, a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamine if I can. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Ah, special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Sure, let's talk. Then please follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly. Aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. Control rooms are for Ganics. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Why is discretion a concern? 
unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking NCPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. Okay, sure. I'll go after you missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person. This is some trippy ass shit. Gonna try to have aerial caps to ensure. All right, y'all. Well, this concludes the end of this walkthrough of Cyberpunk 2077, man. Y'all already know it's been a pleasure and an honor to have you join me on this adventure, bro. If you like this journey man hit that like button subscribe man join me next time i'm gonna keep coming to you with more of these great walkthroughs of cyberpunk y'all look at my freaking hair bro you can see the particles in my hair actually on the ps4 pro it actually looks a lot better yeah and they're right here in front of the delamain freaking offices hq whatever the compensator me right now real quick for the freaking vehicle bro that they freaking crashed into and i thought that shit was like a glitch that said beep beep motherfucker that shit sounded like it was fucking bro why am i already forgetting his name wells jackie damn r.i.p bro that's fucked up but they compensated me for money now delamain wants me to help him out so that's interesting we met up with takamura you join me next time, bro. We're going to continue the journey see what's going on with this shit. All right, y'all. I love y'all. It's your boy, Mugen, saying peace, man. And we out.